Just after I finished the one series video, I was poking around on Reddit and came across a post about another subtle variation of the 1T movement found in the limited edition Tangenta Expo 2000. This time the 1T movement features what looks like a silver or rhodium plating and some engraving commemorating the Expo 2000 World's Fair in Hanover. This is of course not to be confused with the other limited edition Tangenta Expo 2000, which commemorated the city of Leipzig's contribution to the Expo 2000 World's Fair in Hanover. That watch has a normal 1T movement, aside from the Leipzig coat of arms engraved on the lower rear plate. And so, upon reflection, although I tried to do a thorough job covering these movements, there are certainly more than a few other variations out there that I also overlooked. But the fact that there are so many different iterations of the 1 series calibers was one of the reasons I thought it'd be interesting to make a video in the first place. But you know, it did get me thinking, it's too bad that Nomos never released an authoritative book or guide that you could reference. Something like an encyclopedia of all of their- What the hello dolly? Yes, Nomos did make an encyclopedia. Available in both German and English, it's illustrated and contains 330 pages of fascinating information. For example, it gives you a detailed account of the different pets owned by Nomos employees in 2006. Hmm. 61 fish, 7 dogs, 22 cats, 3 sheep, 1 parrot, and 1... Budgerigar. Budgerigar? No, it's a budgie. I wonder why they didn't list that under birds. For the car lovers out there, there's also an entry on all of the company vehicles. Ooh, two different Citroen Berlingos. Did you know that the Citroen Berlingo is the rebadged sister car of the Peugeot Partner? Moving on, the encyclopedia will also tell you about Avitaminosis, a disease caused by vitamin deficiency. Here's an entry labeled Disclaimer. Nomos Glashütte is not a society of angry, young men and women. It's a watch manufacturer in Glashütte, Saxony. There are also quite a few recipes. Buttermilk potato cakes, baked egg custard, cheese and quark potato pancakes, and Rauchamad, another take on the potato pancake. I don't know about you, but I'm hungry. And there are a lot of other informative entries found in the encyclopedia as well. But sadly, no definitive list of all the models and movements that had existed before the book was published. Still, it's not a bad read, and there's some interesting stuff in there. But they're all out of print now, uh, but you can usually find one on uh, eBay sometimes. That's all, folks. 